Why did you take so much time? Sorry. Oh, you're sorry. See, I woke up late. I don't know. I didn't hear my alarm. And then the weather was so cold. And you know how much I hate cold water? No water, no gas. I didn't know how I was going to take my bath. <sighs> Bella, it's really crazy. I really want to be rich. Do you know that right now our mates are inside sleeping? Yes. But we're here cold and ready to work for one hour just to get to work. I hope you realize that even rich people feel cold. I'm paying, you don't have to bother about paying light bills. Well... You just need to walk out. Hopefully someday something will come out of it. I'm tired though. I know. You are cut working? Wait, I'm you, tired. You are tired. Breakfast. Please, I'm running late too. Good morning, Bella. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Jerry. Good morning. Very late. I bet which shortcuts want to follow go walk? On that bridge. On that bridge, Ken? Uh huh. So we pull by this time now. That's the fastest shortcut for us now. Oh, you guys are walking too fast, though. We, we have to hurry up now. We are, we what are has to be in the office? Uh, see, Let's I need to. Hurry up. Let's hurry up. Uh, Come back. You should back. You should back you now because you are cut walking. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <sighs> Jerry. Yes, sir. Please pick the spare key at the drawer by the bedside. Okay. I can't afford to be opening doors for you every time. All right, sir. <sighs> I should have been out of here. I'm so sorry I came late, sir. <clears throat> okay. Please fill up the coffee mug. Okay, sir. I already made coffee. I couldn't wait for you. Okay, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Uh, what are you doing? I just want to make it sparkling clean, sir. I thought I told you to stop cleaning my shoes. This guy. Okay. I need you to help me book a flight to Abuja. Oh, okay, sir. When? Um, this evening. Okay. See if you can book a room at the Hilton, the Envoy or Fraser Suits. Okay, sir. You should be able to get a room in number three. All right. How long, sir? Um, three days. Let me see if I can convince these guys to take over the business. I need to focus on new goals. All right, sir. Check up with Dixon. I'm tired of asking him to send me reports. All right. Mm. Please don't forget to pick this turkey. Should in case I need you to pick anything for me while I'm away. All right, sir. Uh, should Dixon need anything in the BQ he stayed, please pick it for him. Open the place for him to pick whatever he wants. Lock up everywhere when he's done. All right, sir. All right. Okay. Let's go. All right, sir.
expensive. Very expensive hotels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has he lodged you in one like that? Uh, no, no, not yet. I mean, yes. Hmm. Your uncle cannot lodge in that kind of room. Yes, even if you travel with him, he won't. So stop imagining the possibility. Actually, he can. My uncle is very nice. Nice enough to lodge you in those kind of hotels? Mm. Yes, no. If I travel with wow. him, that would be nothing to him. Huh. Oh. oh, what? Bella, I'm tired. Uh -uh. Look at me now. Eh? I need to meet a rich man. <sighs> you huh. need to meet a good man. That is rich. Or hustling to be rich. I beg, I beg. Both of you, can you just stop? The idea of love in this world right now is just a fairy tale. Eh, mm. Everyone is looking for a partner that can take care of their needs. But that is a lie. Because when you say it like that, then you are generalizing it. So it's a lie. Just a few. Like you. Jerry, as much as you are smart and dress well, tell me, how many classy women can date you? Many. There are plenty of everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You that is talking, can you date him? Of course, why not? It's just that we're friends now. I don't need to date him. But trust me, why not? I can marry someone like him now. He's hardworking, handsome. What's that? Just more time now, you make money. Thank you, Bella. Ah, Bella, stop, I beg. Stop lying to him. Stop. You're just trying to make him feel happy. Yes, you're trying to make him feel happy. You better stop deceiving Jerry. Yes, and join me in this prayer point because we need wealthy men in our life. Yes. And you, Jerry, don't let her deceive you. Let her go and hustle. So all the hustling I'm hustling is not hustling enough for you? You want me to kill myself? Mm -mm. Keep at it. One day you make us proud. I don't even need to say anything. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye. Jerry. You're just giving him false hope. I beg. Well, let's go, Jerry. All this is your work that I've been working. Me, me. Rich man. Don't worry, I will meet a rich man. Oh. I promise you. Yes. Naomi. Naomi, I'm talking to you. It's like you want me to stop coming here. Look, if you want to stop coming here, that is fine. Well, I'm just telling you the truth. Wow. Is stupid written on my forehead? I don't know the truth? Look, Caleb, I did not say that, and you will not put words into my mouth. Look, all I'm saying is just. Hello, Bella. Hi. Bella, Fine. We need to talk. I'm in my room. What is he doing here? What sort of question is that, Bella? You know why I'm asking. Fine, you have a right. You called and I said it was okay for him to come over. Jeez, why are you enabling him? Enabling what, Bella? Do you love him? I'm not getting any younger, Bella. <laughs> you still haven't answered the question. I do. You don't. Oh, uh, so now you're the one that'll tell me how I feel, yeah? I know you now. You're my sister. I know when you are in love. So yes, maybe you may have had butterflies when you just met. But right now, I don't even know what you are doing. I don't know if you're in a relationship. I don't know if you're dating. I don't know if you are playing. I don't I really don't know what you are doing. But one thing I know for sure is you can't stand his lifestyle. So no, you don't love him. Well, that's why I'm encouraging him to change. Mm. Encourager. Encourager in chief. How is that going? Okay, please let's not talk about him anymore. Look, sis, I know things are very bad right now. But it doesn't mean you should settle for him. Come on, you can do better than that. Bella is making efforts. No, he's not. Okay, Bella, that's enough. Look, I know what I've always wanted for myself when it comes to relationship and settling down. But it's not like my life has exactly gone how I hoped. It's just maybe my standards are just too high. Your standards are not too high. They are perfect. Okay, please, enough about Caleb. He's sleeping in the morning, he's not spending the weekend, so just relax. Look, what I want to talk about are these bills. Light, water, and waste. Why 
Why don't you go and give it to Caleb? Are you? Are you? Give me a job. Bella! Bella, are you kidding me? It's not Jerry. Every time, I'm just arguing about something that does not make any sense. No, go past. Oh, my favorite. What is it? It's not the end um, biscuit that Jerry bought for Bella. Always buying her stupid things. Am I complaining? What should we have said? Before? I love everything yeah. that Jerry buys. So <laughs> <much. laughs> I'm always stressing. <laughs> Is it because it's quiet? Don't mind her. She doesn't enter me. I might will not calm down. I beg you. Don't worry, Jamila. Stop. 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 Hello? Hello? Oh boy, where are you doing now? My friend, will you, will you hurry up? I, I'm at the house. I need to collect something from the big you. Hurry up, I beg. Where you did? Look, I don't care where you are. Hurry up, please. Hurry up. Don't waste my time. Okay, I'm coming, sir. What happened? Did you say something stupid again? Uh, I want to go and open the door for him. I'm coming. I don't want stress. I don't want you to stress me. Stress. Wait, 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 guys, are you coming back? Yes, yes. come back. Oh, I'll make something. Sorry, I was. Uh, I'm sorry. You're sorry. Yes. Why are you Why are you coming by this time? Do you know how long I've been waiting here? I'm sorry. I walked halfway. You what? You were very, you're very stupid. You knew I was waiting for you here, and you walked down here. What happened to the fastest way of getting here? I'm sorry. Please open these gates. I apologize. Now I'm here now. I don't blame you now. How would I blame you? Open this gate, Joe. Ledger now. Hey! Ha -ha. We should have been coming here like standing now because every time we're waiting for Jerry outside. No, now. We're supposed to be coming in here like all the time. So, you know, to put in some money air. Hey, can we see? As what now? No, why are you asking me that question? Do I look like it's my house? Wait now, you know, if you tell Jerry, he will let you stay. So, tell him to let us stay. You know Jerry is nice to everyone and you can actually ask him. Uh -uh. Is it today that you know that Jerry has been trying to impress you? And that's because I don't try to bite his head off as you always do. Then take advantage of the fact that he's comfortable with you and tell him to let us stay. God forbid. So that when something happens, they will now blame it on me or him. Bella, what do you think will happen? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. 
Bottom line is, even if we sleep here, it doesn't change the fact that we have to trek back to our house, to where we're coming from. Pella, but look now. At least we'll have something nice to dream about. Ah. Yes. Okay, look. Ah, ah. Left, hey. look right. Hey! Up and down. Look very well, oh, so that when you go home, you know what to dream about. Nonsense. Come on for here, Joe. You too, come on for here. You know you're just a bully. Hey! Eh? Yes, you're always bullying him. You want to bully him to sleep here. Look who is talking. Me and you, who is the bully? Yeah. Wait first, where is the bedroom? Eh? Hey! See, I must marry a rich man. Whether he's nice or not. See how now? Ah, God <gasps> forbid. God will never answer that kind of prayer. Why would you want to marry a rich man that is not nice? I don't understand. Tell me, how many rich people are nice? And how does niceness give anyone ego money? Tell me. So how does wickedness give people money? Bella, look closely at your government people. Eh? Look, I don't want to think or look at the government. The basic principle of life is if you work hard, you will make money. Mm. Simple and short. Ask God to bless you with a man that has a wonderful heart. Mm. Not this <laughs> foolish prayer that you are praying. Very foolish. God will not answer that kind of foolish prayer. That's uh, good. <laughs> Bella, I must marry a rich man whether he's nice or not. <laughs> See how with this kind of household. <laughs> when we finish treating you anyhow, don't come and cry to me. <laughs> oh, Chimo. <laughs> Chai. I don't have time for this. Bella, wine, wine. The way you're staring at the kitchen. <laughs> My goodness, you startled me. I'm sorry, I didn't even want to disturb you, but the way you're staring at the kitchen seems like you want to disappear with it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I just feel like taking it with me. All right, go ahead. I'll look the other way. What? Really? Yes. I'll get you into trouble. I will deny seeing you, so approve the kitchen and go. <gasps> no problem. <laughs> it's so nice. Honestly, I didn't know your boss was this rich. Mm -hmm. And he is single too. Really? Mm -hmm. Meaning? I could introduce you. Oh, you would do that for me? If you want to, he's a nice guy. Huh. So you are now a pimp? No. Yes, you no. pimp girls for your boss. No, I've never done it and I will not do it. I just, I just thought of it now, introducing you, not pimping you. So you want to start with me? My boss is a nice person. Mm. You're an amazing human being. Mm. So I don't think there's anything wrong. Because of mm. you can be a thing, real mm. thing. Mm. Not talking about flings or anything. Mm. If you want to score good points with your boss, you're not going to start with me. Okay? I mean, his house is really nice. Kitchen is lovely. Everything is great. But I don't know if he's a great person or if I'm attracted to him or if I would like him. But then again, you can try Savannah. God forbid, Muri goes fine. No! Do you want someone to kill my boss? Why? Nothing. By the way, where is she? Oh, if I know her very well, she'll be in his bedroom. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me get... Where are you going? But if you change your mind about my boss, if you want to meet him, let me know. What? Savannah! What is wrong with you? Sav... Wonder shall never end. What are you doing there? Stand up, let's go home. The both of you should please stop talking to me. I don't understand how you living on another man's house is making you sad. Why is my sadness affecting you? Because you are my friend. No, you are no longer my friend. Wait, you are cutting <laughs> us off because of someone else's house? Oh, please shut up. You that don't have liver. Says who? Says me. Yes, you that could not stand up to Dixie when he was insulting your life. Oh, please. Since when is being disrespectful now a thing of pride or oh. attractive? 
He's always talked about how rude D Dixon has always been. I don't understand. What's your problem? Okay, and when is he going to stand up to Dixon's rudeness? On the day he chooses, not on your own day. It's okay now. Since his house is making us have this quarrel, let us go. I'll speak to my elder, then tell him that some of my friends want to visit his place. I don't want to put myself in trouble. This is not our house, so I can't allow you to stay without permission. <sighs> Let's go now. You don't understand. There is no another day. Uh, yes. And you too, you are no longer my friend. Uh, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You are cutting us off because of someone else's house. Come on now. Hey, so what do you don't even know? My friend, come Leave me alone now. Wait, huh? you think this is a joke? Enemies of progress. You know what? I'm going to leave the both of you here. Wait, where are you going? You're... Come on, get out. <laughs> it should be. Hello, let us go. <laughs> is she serious? Don't worry, she'll come back. No, she can't possibly be Come, come, come. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. Welcome, sir. Jeremy. How was your trip? Very well. Not over yet, though. What else, sir? Um, I'll still be going back, but I need to attend the early morning meeting tomorrow. Okay, you you want me to book now? No, 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 no. Not not now. Okay. Um, Did Dixon pick up the hard drive he said he forgot at the BQ? Yes, he did, sir. Yet he didn't send in the report. This guy is getting on my last nerve. Yes, yeah, sorry, sir. You know what? Yes, sir. Call him. Tell him I said he should get set right now. Yes, sir. Right now. Matter of fact, tell him to be here before I finish refreshing. I will. All sir. right? Yes, sir. Hello? Hello, sis. Hi. Um, Bella, how far? I'm fine. Today, somehow, no customers. Oh, sorry, my dear. No, 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 I just got back home. Uh, uh, so early. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything is fine. Um, Bella, when are you coming back home? My usual time. What's going on? Um, Bella, please, can I get 30,000 from you? I'm sorry, I know you don't like to touch or even to think about your savings, but... Savings that I don't even have. The money that is not much, you want me to break it for you? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Bella, I know, but I need your help, please. For what? It's not something I can explain now. I don't understand you. How can you not tell me what you need the money for and you want me to break my savings? Savings that I've been keeping for long. Bella, if I didn't need your help, I would not be asking. What kind of question is that? I'm asking you for something. You're asking me who is here with me. Ah, problem. Put your phone on speaker. And let Caleb know I said I don't have money to give him. Hello? She will never do anything for me. Always too judgmental of me. But I suppose if I was rich and I was flaunting money around, she'd be my biggest fan. Okay, baby, no Bella is not like that. It's a crime now. It's a sin to get a little support from my woman. You keep, you keep defending your bad choices. Naomi, baby, there are no business you can start with small money. No, that's not true. There are lots of businesses you can start with small money. Why do you want to take out the time and the pain to discover them? All you do is take out loans from family and friends. Now no one wants to come to your aid. Wow. Wow. Thanks for the insult. Okay? 
I did not insult you and you know that. Because I always try to support you even though I need support myself. It's only you that make me call Bella for stuff like this. And then things get awkward in this house. And you do not even acknowledge it. Babe. Babe. Such foolish sister. Welcome to. Pixie. Sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. You keep making me ask you for reports. I am so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that you were going to be back this early. Do I need to be back before you send in your reports? No. This is a special project, and I handed it over to you. I, I know, sir, and I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm sure you know that I am the only one capable of handling it the way you want me to. Let me finish. You say you forgot an external hard drive in the big you slept the last time you came. And it contains some material you need for the reports. True, sir. I told you not to wait for me. I asked you to call Jerry to open up the place for you. Yes, sir. That should let you know that it's very important to me. Yes. I'm going to attend the meeting with you anymore. Yeah. Well, so you, you give them your word? Yes, Dixon. I actually rushed in here so I could attend the meeting. I thought by now that I've seen reports and be ready for them. Well, uh, okay, sir. But I, I, can, I can bring you up to speed, sir. <laughs> you want to talk me through everything you've been working on for weeks? More like a concise version of it. <laughs> Do that with Jerry, not me. Sir? Sir, what? I have told you to get ready for some serious jobs around here. Or is attending a meeting too big for you? Oh, no, 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 sir. Good. Dixon? Sir? Bring him up to speed. Introduce him to the team as a new employee. Give him any position you want to give him. I don't care. Uh, you studied something in business. Business strategy, sir. Good. I want individual reports from you at the end of the day. All right, so you, you get the report. Big scene. I don't want to hear that we lost this deal. All right? Yes, All right. sir. Yes, sir. Sure, All right, sir. sir. Oh, no. a joke? I don't have to say anything. Of course, what, what do you have to say in the first place? What do you know about this project? Eh? Do you, do you realize how stupid you are following me? I didn't ask for this. Did you, why didn't you, why didn't you tell me that you won't be available for this, for this meeting? You were there. Does it look like I had a choice at all? He didn't want to hear anything I had to say. And you want to follow me to this meeting dressed like this? I didn't know I was going, going to be delegated to go for a presentation. My friend, will you go home and, and change in your best suit or whatever you have? But I can't go home and come back and still meet up with the meeting. It will be late. We'll go there late. Follow me. I'll drive you to wherever it is you stay. God knows where you stay in, the, in, that, in that slum. My friend, will you follow me? Once upon a time in a humble town once a daily dreamer boy he had a best friend someone who took care 
Work with me if that little thing inside there is just upsetting you like this. You told them I was your new executive assistant. Are you not an executive assistant? To my boss, not to you. Do you realize that Aaron is my age mate? And he was my primary and secondary school classmate. What has that got to do with anything? If you can accord Aaron the respect. I deserve the same. I do not disrespect anyone. And I've never disrespected you. I work for him. He is my boss. I cannot accord you equal respect to him. It's not possible. What you did in there was wrong. It was wrong. Let I me. had ideas. I wanted to make contribution, valuable contribution. But none of them looked my way because you have earlier disrespected and belittled me. Are you planning on dazzling all of us inside there? I was planning on doing what he sent us here to do. Before you went on that self-indulgence ego trip of yours in there. Listen and listen close. You will not speak to me like that ever again. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just telling you the truth. The truth, huh? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Let the truth drive you home. What, what do you mean, let the truth drive me home? someone else. Babe, call somebody else. Call somebody else. You have people. You know people. Call somebody else, please. I am not calling anyone else. What are you insinuating? That you don't care what happens? Happens where? And why do you need this 30,000 euros so desperately? Babe, listen. I don't feel I should always explain myself to you whenever I need a little favor. And when have I ever asked you to explain anything to me, Caleb? You were here when I caught Bella. She instantly said no because the last one I took from her to give to you, you have failed to return it. I even called other friends and now you say this nonsense. Nonsense, babe. Where is this coming from? What nonsense did I say? What do you mean by 30k should not be too much for me to get, to give to you to fix your life threatening issue? It should not. Caleb, if it were that easy, why don't you have it? Huh? How much do you think my salary is, sir? And for Christ's sake, what is this life trending issue you have refused to share? You know what? I don't think I should be here anymore. Oh, fine. You should go where you need to be then. Dirty key. Dirty key. Dirty key. Dirty key. going on? I just saw Caleb stomping out like a madman. I don't know what to do with him. How about you leave him, dump him, move on? You sound like it's that easy. Please, what was making it hard? I am not getting any younger. I keep telling you. You can't let the fear of being alone make you put up with rubbish. Or stay with nonsense. What happened to you now? I need to ask you because I need to know. What happened to you? You're the one person in life that I know always had big dreams. <laughs> you always wanted to travel and see the world, make millions, set up a business, live in a big house. Who is this person? And what did you do to my sister? 
guess reality has taught me to look at things objectively. Objectively? Yet you can't see the scam that Caleb is. Sis, the red flags are right there. If you want to give up on your dreams, that's fine. But don't settle for nonsense. Caleb is bad news. <sighs> I don't understand how someone can be proud and irresponsible at the same time. If you pick a struggle, there has to be something I can do for him. And then what will he do for himself? Please, you need to snap out of this. I love Caleb, I love Caleb, I love Caleb. You do realize that love is not going to pay the bills. Any man that cannot at least fend for himself has no business being in a relationship. His mates are out there working, trying to stand up, putting in the work so that they can fend for their for themselves and their families. And he's out there borrowing money like a riffraff as if it's a side hustle to be in a relationship. Please, sis, you can do better than this. Just, just leave him. Happy. What's making you so smile? <laughs> this your rich guy <laughs> has really inspired me. Just see. What did you just see? Ah, bring it. See oh! <laughs> What did he say? That he likes me. Ah! <laughs> oh, ash, I wish I saw his face. Is he young? And red. Ah, yes, now see his car. Ah. Did he take your number? Yes, he took my number. What is all? <laughs> yes, what is it with yes, all these questions yes, yes. now? Yes. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's stay here a bit so that I can, you know, see my own rich boyfriend. I look good, Abby. What hey. are you talking about? Please, let's go home. Jo. Wait now for my for my own. It's not time yet. Let's go home. You'll come back later so you can stand with your fellow night workers. I no? don't understand which night workers. Uh, your Stop people now. Jo. My friend, let's go. Jo. Uh, hey, your fellow people that work at that, night. That car. Ah, my friend. <laughs> First of all, he's not my bobo yet. Huh? Secondly, he's not even called. Don't worry. You see these rich people, they used to do this small shakara. Don't worry, I'm very certain he will call. Eh? Come on, see? <laughs> what? What's this? A dating app. What are you using a dating app for? Which one is what? It's to find my own bubble now. Hey, my goodness. This girl. Have men finished on the streets? <laughs> I thought dating apps were for older women who find it difficult to meet men, not people like you. <laughs> Thank God it is your opinion. And it's a lie. Yes, because dating app is for everybody. But you know the reason I downloaded this one? It's because it's for rich people only. <laughs> and how do you know that? Because you can only get recommended and given a code to log in. It is exclusive. Hmm. Let me tell you, it's not everybody there that claims to be rich that is actually rich. They may not be who they claim to be. That's why there are ways to confirm who you're talking to on the app now, Bella. What ways? Video. Yes. And if you see the guys on this app, then, ha! You'll be shaking right now. Oh, gosh. No man can make me shake. Not the correction. <laughs> Don't worry, eh? I will shake. For the both of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you. He's calling. <laughs> I'm coming. Hello? Hey! Hey, God! Mama is sick. Uh -uh. She has even saved his number. Oh, God. Rich boyfriend everywhere. God, I beg go. Oh, my God. Let me continue my search. <laughs> 
The shock. Oh, it, she just didn't tell me that that she have a boyfriend now. Wait. So Bella needs your permission now. I don't believe me. Bella. I better go and tell her to come and give me her charge. I want to use it to charge my laptop. Hey, Jerry. Ah, you shame the shame me. Ah, come on, laptop charger that is cheap. Go and buy your own. Is it your own? Sorry, you're not chopping my head. Papa <laughs> 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 is fine. They once once a daily dreamer boy. He had a best friend. Someone who would do care. They would always be through thick and thin. Jerry, what's wrong now? Nothing. I think he's. Of yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry, are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I need to print something. I'll see you girls later. Which was now? I don't know. What's wrong with him? I think it's because of yesterday. What happened yesterday? You know when I came to your room to collect charger that he wanted to borrow? Mm -hmm. I only told him to stop borrowing your charger too much. I'm gonna ask you the vex, so. You say, why would you tell him something like that? Am I complaining? Did I complain to you? We both use the same type of laptop. It's not a problem. Bella, Chaja is cheap. He collects salary. We both know he takes care of his family, his siblings. He's a responsible guy. I'm very hardworking at that. Why are you defending him? I'm not defending him. I'm just stating the fact I'm being human. You know he just finished this master's course and it was quite expensive and he used all his salary to pay up. I'm only trying to inspire him. You are discouraging him. That's not inspiration. Yeah. Oh, I've heard you. Where is this your bobo? Wait, let me call you. If he's not coming, let me go and meet uh, Jerry. Wait now, let me call him. Again. He had a best friend, someone who do care. They would always be through thick and thin. Don't tell me he's not coming. No. After all, your man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big guy. He's coming. He's coming to pick up. See now. His number is not going. Hey, so we're going to trek. With empty pockets, Let's they would boys, share please. your dreams. Let's be going. Come, 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 come. Hoping someday they would make it real. Come, Joe. But fate Jerry, had wait a plan. for a twist in the story Jerry! In the twinkle of a nice thing's change Good morning, sir. I, I didn't know you were here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, sir. <laughs> sir, I, uh, did, did you see the report? Yes, I did. Okay. I don't want to talk about that now. Please get me coffee. There okay. was once a daily dream of boy. Uh, please call Dixon. Okay. Ask him to pick you up from here. Sir? Call Dixon. Ask him to pick you up from here. So I actually heard you the first time. I'm just wondering if you still want me to join him to the meeting. Yes, yes, yes. Henceforth, you'll be working with him. Huh? Yes, since he doesn't like to send me reports. You'll be doing that for me. Okay, sir. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Oh, are you tired? Tired? No, 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 sir. Good. Yes. Coffee, please. Yes. Thank you.
Yeah. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, did you see what I sent to you on WhatsApp? You see the way the house is, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly that type of house. The same style, the same pattern. That's what I want. Ah, how about? Money is not the problem now. I'm, I'm already gathering it. I just needed to hurry up. Yes, just get back to me when, when you see the, the, the exact thing, pattern, everything. Oga? Oga, sir. I hope you know that you can't be following me to, to the office. Dressed the way you're dressing. What is this? I didn't know he would ask me to join you to the meeting. Okay, so now you want me to drive to that that place you stay? Eh? You know, now, now you didn't buy me fuel. You didn't buy me fuel. You don't have to. He gave me some money to get a, a dress down the road. He gave you some money, right? Yes. They just didn't package you anyhow for this company. Hmm? My friend, get in. I don't have time for you to do. Mm. Thank you. I was going to say the same about you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are going out? Yes, I am going out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. I'm going out on a date. Okay. Yes. So I met this guy and he asked me out. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Fun. I will. Oh, my date is here. Okay. I have to go. Alright, have fun. I will. You look really good in this suit. I've never seen you wear it. Oh, thanks to my boss. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you doing okay? Oh, yes, sure. <laughs> yes. Hoping someday they would make it real. <laughs> Buffet had a plan, a twist in the story. In the twinkle of the night, things change. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Do you know what this means to me? Do you know how long I've prayed for this? This is so important to me. I'm going to prepare all the documentations you need and send it to you by morning. I promise I'll work all night. I promise I'll send it to you. I'll get them across to you, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, all right, thank you. Whew. 
Jerry needs to be here. Jerry, yes, please leave everything you are doing and come to the house right now. We are going to work all night. It's important you are here right now. All right. Yes. about him? Um, he's nice, rich, and very caring. Okay, someone I would like to hear that. <laughs> Especially the rich part. Right. He's always going on and on about, oh, rich people this, rich people always do this, rich people sit like this, rich people sleep like that. Oh. <laughs> like, that <not> girl, eh? <laughs> What is it? Nothing. I mean, I just couldn't help thinking while we're at dinner. You know, I couldn't help notice that he's rich, not just because he works hard or he's super intelligent or he does anything extraordinary. Okay. It's simply because he's from a wealthy family. Huh. This guy has been to every country in the world. I'm telling you, he showed me pictures. Is it that rich? He is that rich. Oh my God, wow. <gasps> I was just thinking. I was thinking about Jerry. You know, Jerry is so nice and such an amazing person. He works mm -hmm. so hard and he takes care of his family, his siblings, his sister. Considering how much he earns, he doesn't even earn that much. But he's <sighs> really taking care of them. And sometimes I think like he comes here not just because we're friends, but because... Well, he it comes for the food, so... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think he comes for the food. But... If you ask me, he deserves more. Because he works really hard. Well, it does. It does. True. Bella. What? Are you in love with Jerry? No, Jerry. Oh, we're friends now. I'm gonna be in love with Jerry. Come on. Tell me. How does being concerned about my friend equate to love? I'm just asking because you just returned from a date with another guy, but you spent the entire evening thinking about Jerry. And I also saw how he got sad after you left for your day. Really? Yeah. In fact, the entire evening, he barely talked. I walked in on him, staring at the door after you left. So I know it's because of you he was quiet. We're just friends, okay? I just care about Jerry. Like, he a had a mood. best friend. Simple. Someone who took care. They so, would you recognize when it thin. comes love? What kind of question is this one now? I'm about to get into a relationship. I just went on a date. I'll start seeing someone soon. I ask this kind of question. Sorry, I asked. Sorry, I asked. Forget I asked. But I'll come back. Kept, they would Thank share you. your dreams. <laughs> Hoping someday they would make it real. But fate had a plan. A twist in the story. In the twinkle of a nice things change. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> 
Sir. Sir. Yeah. I'm done with the slides. Good. Send them to me. All right, sir. <clears throat> Um, secondly, um, open the folder Dixon worked on and redo them. Sir? Jerry. Sir? We have a lot to go through this night. And repeating myself wouldn't be part of it. All right, sir. Dixon sent me a rushed work. And the visualization tool he uses the working for me. Go through them, adjust when necessary. I like what you did for me. Thank you, sir. You should be working with Dixon on this project. I'm not cleaning my shoes. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> we need to print some of this. So go to the guest room. There should be a printer lying around there. I haven't been in that room for some months now. And if it's not there, it should be at the BQ. Uh, there should be an A4 paper in one of the rooms. Get them. All right, sir. Thank you. Have you found it? Not yet, sir. I found this. What's that? Money, sir. What do you mean, money? Oh, my God. I practically mourn losing this money. I've not been into that room in some months now. Wow. $200,000. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please get the printer. Yes. Thank you. Wow. So tell me, did you enjoy everything? Uh uh, I did. It was so nice. You know the restaurant in Sukisu is very expensive. Oh. Are you telling me? Hey, when I saw the bill, I was so surprised. I screamed. Hmm. Wait, did you hear you scream? Yes, now. Ah, no, now. Why will you allow him to let you scream? See, wealthy people, they don't like people shouting because they don't shout because of money. Babes, you need to start acting like you deserve the kind of life you're about to walk into. Honestly, if you were born rich, you would have been a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Shut up, see I you. Swear. I'm here teaching you on how to keep this our rich, fine bubble. You're just talking anyhow. Don't worry. God's time is the best. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hmm? I had fun, no? I, I'm ah. not even going to lie. Eh? Just, At least we didn't trek to the restaurant. Ah. My girl, you're looking good though. <laughs> <sighs> you see my head now. Hmm, he bought it for you. Hey, God, though, it's many meal. What's many you? Rich boyfriend now. Ah, 
It's more like I'm waiting for like forever. Oh, hi. hi. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. So, <laughs> how was your date? What? Is that the first question you're going to ask me? Is that all that was on your mind? No, I said hi first, which means how are you? How is everything? Then I'm asked, how is your date? Really? Uh-huh. My date was fine. <laughs> how was your day? My day is good. So, did you like him? Not yet, but I think I will eventually. What? Nothing. Uh, just think that he's lucky. Not think, I know. He's lucky to have you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to eat Sula? Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where'd you get money to buy Sula? My boss gave me 100,000 naira. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. That means you must have really impressed him. I don't know what I did though. But... Well, what? He just, he just said, come here. Once upon a bad. time, in a humble town, there was once a daily dream of boy. He had a best friend, someone who took care. They would always be through thick and thin. But empty pocket, they would share their dreams Hoping someday they would make it real But fate had a plan A twist in the story In the twinkle of a night, things change He walked day oh, and night And one his dream inside to build a future where the love can grow. I wonder what we can do. You be went and buy to your car now. His spirit <laughs> ring. You know. I don't know that you're doing. Who said? Who said that we should go and buy so you can eat without him? Oh yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't eat it. No. We're working on this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait now, wait. Come on. Wait, wait. After this one, we'll cover it. We'll go home. We'll cover it. Keep it, let me know mm -hmm. what you got. Why are you keeping it? Let me keep it for her now. I, I did I say we should keep it? I thought you said... Chelsea! <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good! Oh, <laughs> it's good what's to see up? You. I'm okay. Come, come, come meet my friend. Ah, are, you, are you coming back from what? Yeah. Eh, uh, Chelsea, meet my friend Bella. Bella, this is Chelsea. Uh, She's also an executive assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's right. Nice to meet you. Oh, come here. You might want to get your number to your I can, I can give you now. Yes. Let's. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. You know, Casual. All right. All right, that's fine. All right, I'll call you. All right, thank you. All right, all right, thank you. All right, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> yes. She's just a funny girl. Do you know that day at the meeting, she was even the one putting in words for me. Like, he needs to see, he was saying this. I mean, the energy coming from her. She was just talking about her company and how we need to do some, you know, collaboration. But I was just thinking, maybe people like this, you could just use them to get, you know, a contract that is not... Um, why is she so happy to see you? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because we do the same job. But of course she gets paid higher, I guess. I think it's here now. Who's the man now? Ah, who keeps you here for anybody? The thing will be cold. The thing will be cold. Babe, I'm sorry. Ah, babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, okay, Caleb, I'm getting tired of this back and forth. I understand, I understand. And that's why I'm apologizing, okay? 
That's well, that does not mean that you're not going to work out the next minute. Come on, don't say that. Don't say that, okay? I'm sorry. Come on, chill. Look, chill. you need to hear the truth. All right, fine, fine. That's why I'm actually here. I want us to talk, okay? I want to explain myself. Come on, babe, it's me. Fine, let's talk. Babe, listen, um, I believe in this life all fingers are not equal. Everyone's journey is different. And that's why I don't like people comparing me or judging me. I'm hoping that you will support me while I continue to find myself. Philip, that all fingers are not equal does not mean I should choose to be the smallest finger. Philip, I've never judged you or compared you with anyone. But I cannot lie to you and see that and say that you're doing enough. You're not, you're not doing what you should do. And what am I not doing? Get a job! <laughs> I know you keep saying you want to build your own thing. Mm. But what stops you from building while you earn? So at some point you can resign when what you built is strong enough to sustain you. Just to get you right, you mean I should carry a file and go around seeking for a job like every Tom, Dick and Harry? <laughs> okay, what is wrong uh, with carrying a file if it will get you a job? No. And by the way, there are other ways to get jobs. Try online, do something. Make an effort for crying out loud. Make, oh God, make an effort. What? You really wish you were with someone else, right? How did this conversation get here? Babe. I'm speaking the truth, and you know I'm speaking the truth. This is how you always bring our conversation to a halt. By speaking the truth? The truth that you have refused to hear. I don't know how you intend that we get things done, or, or even survive if you don't understand the importance of earning. Babe, all I'm asking is for you to believe in me. While I work on myself, it's not too much to ask. Please try and understand. Caleb, how many people are you owing? And what will you pay them back? Please, come off it. Don't go take the old people money. I will pay when I can. I cannot come and kill myself. I'm done with this conversation. This Here we general. go again. Here we go again. You literally asked to speak and you're working out on me again. Babe, for crying out loud. Babe. I was just talking to myself. You were not talking to yourself. I was listening to you. <laughs> Bella, yeah? Are you okay? What is it now? Well, I, I'm fine. Sorry. Am I not listening to what you're saying? I'm sorry. Wow. So I, I'm not trying to argue with you. What then are you trying to do? I'm only telling you that I can handle your businesses well enough for you. Dixon. Sir. Have you seen me in the office lately? Well, not lately. Why do you think so? <laughs> because I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a good job, you know. Wrong. I am practically trying to get out of your way and see what you do with the businesses. I am entrusting you with the business I've built all my life. Sir, I believe I'm doing a very good job. But I need you to trust me. Who says I don't trust you? 
Well, if you do, why are you forcing Jerry on me? Have you taken time to see what this guy can do? All, all I know is that he's, he's, he's your personal assistant. He serves you breakfast and coffee and all of that, so that's good enough. I see how little of him you think. But this guy has great knowledge of business strategy. What's up? I am a strategist. <laughs> I know how to handle things. Dixon. Sir. We have known each other since when we were kids. And that's the reason I invited you here before he resumes. I want you to oversee how he's been introduced to the business. Whether you like it or not, whether you like him or not, he will be in the business fully. That will be all for now. No problem, sir. Listen and listen very good. You see this game you're playing? You see this rubbish you're doing? You see this nonsense you're doing? You better forget it. Because I will shut you down. You, you want to turn Aaron against me. You, you want to turn Aaron against me. I would like to see you try. You think, you think you're smart? You think you're smart? You think you're smart? You think you're smart? Okay, he will sit with you and discuss. Trust me, you, you, we will deliver. Okay, all right, great. All right, bye. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Um, I just spoke with a client that I want you to sit and discuss with. Okay, sir. Oh, I'll give you what we have on them. I would like to see how you identify creative business solutions to help improve their business. I'll do my best, sir. I know. I expect nothing less. Thank you, sir. That reminds me. Yes, sir. I'm traveling. Oh. Yeah. The client already booked my flight and accommodation. All right. I'll let you in on the details. Okay, sir. So, prepare to meet your new clients. I, I will, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Expecting someone? Hmm? Nothing. <sighs> so. 
So, why have you been looking out the window? I'm wondering why Jerry hasn't come. Jerry? Why? It's the weekend now. Normally he would be here. Now he has small money. He's going to other people's houses. What do you mean by other people? Savannah? No. Like the lady he met at work. Wait, is it the Chelsea person you mentioned yesterday? Yes. Uh-huh, you see? Now it's about to prove you wrong. Come on. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Naomi. Alpha. Alpha. All right, welcome. Big head. Big head, what are you doing? How are you? What's I'm fine. Up? There's no food in the house. So. <laughs> At least I call you for food. Uh, Bella, you stop it. <laughs> Why was Jerry not coming here today? It's so upsetting for you. It wasn't. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I was just wondering. Wondering what? I thought you said you're just friends. We are just friends. Usually, Jared would visit every other day, especially on the weekend, and he didn't come today. Okay, yes, he comes here a lot, but not every day. Man, what's so special about today? Nothing. Wait, are you serious? Bella! All right, girls, I, I think we should, no, not I think, we should take a cab today. Why? Who will pay? I will. Uh -uh. Where did you get money from? Don't have to answer that. <laughs> if you ask me, I think you should just save that money. That money you think you have is not much. You better save it. I already did. Tomorrow again, we'll take a cab. <laughs> Please book. Ah, my own is that we're not going to trek today, so you can book. Hi! <laughs> no, it's not like that. Of course I enjoy dinner. <laughs> Have you booked? Oh, thank you. Have you booked? Of course, you can oh. come over to my place. Huh? You're right now. Have you booked it? <laughs> It's not working. I think we should try. Oh my god, are you serious? I knew it. <laughs> no problem. I don't have any money. Just want to stress. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we not ordering cab again? Does he have money for that cab? Just stress me uh, uh. Hello? Please sit. Thank you, sir. Mm. Jerry. Sir. You know most of my business is outside the country, right? Yes, sir. That's why I let Dixon handle a lot of my businesses here. So I want you to join him. S sir? You... Jerry. Sir. Go to the wardrobe and pick the suits that are your sizes here. Okay? So, yeah, I should pick your clothes. Pick all the suits that are your sizes. 
Thank you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. It's Thank okay. you. Just go on and select. Let's see what you pick and what you need to add. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Go on, go on. Thank you. It's okay. Please check the black one. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. So, so you mean I can pick any one? Any, any. Surprise yourself. Bang, girl. <laughs> so tell me, what is it going to be today? I hope you're saying yes. Maybe. What is maybe? You better, you better say yes. You don't try me. I'm coming first. Yes. Yes, what? There is this rich, fine bobo that is acting her out. But you know your friend now, she too likes Shakara. Babe, me in this case, have you forgotten? So tell her to say yes. Too much information. TMI, why are you telling him all that? Tell her to say yes. <sighs> your food is bad. Hey, hey, Jenny, I'll get you some. My food, oh. All right. He's lucky. Yes, he. He knows how lucky he is. Yeah. I have to go now. Alright. Take care. Alright, bye. Sir? Good day, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Okay, sir. Naomi! Maybe later I'm going. Good day, sir. Um, Jerry. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. I came as soon as you called. Uh, I'm sorry I had to bring you here. It's not a problem, sir. Um, I told you I'll be traveling, right? Yes. Yes, you did. You okay. did. It's confirmed I'll be leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay, that's good, sir. And I have a lot of pending business um, projects I need to handle this evening. Okay. So you'll be doing this with me all through the night. All right, sir. You see them on power your laptop. All right. Um, basically, most of them are business development bricks. Okay. Dixon was supposed to be here, and he said he wanted a couple of days to a week to go see his family, Yola. Oh. Uh, we were supposed to work together on this, but I want you to work with me on this. Oh, good. Great. It's not okay. a problem, sir. Yes. All right. <clears throat> I'm sending you some of the briefs now. All right. Uh, I have some briefs here that Dixon has worked on too. Okay. So you need to go through them and see the angle you can come from. All right. All right. All right. Um, pot of coffee in hot. Let me fix that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
concentrate. Focus. Focus on what you're building. Focus. Uh, hello. Hi, Chelsea. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for calling you this late. Yes. No, 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 no. I just wanted to send you a document from your office. I just want you to help me confirm certain things and then send it back to me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm all right. Yes, uh, everything is fine. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. <sighs> oh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Jerry. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Ah, sorry I left you halfway into a business yet. No, it's no problem, sir. Ah, did you get some headway? Yes, I did. Oh, sir, okay. actually, there are some things I need to confirm, then I will send you a report. Okay. I found something on the client's brief, so I need to make sure they are correct before sending anything. Oh, okay. Is there something you want me to look into? Yes, there's a couple of files that uh, I emailed it to you already, so you just look at it. All right, all right. I'll just look at them. Please. All right, sir. All right. All right. Profit, please. Thank you. Once upon a time, in a humble town, there was once a daily dream of boy. He had a best friend, someone who took care. There would always be through thick and thin. But empty pocket, they would share your dreams. Ah, he's sleeping on duty. Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey. <laughs> What are you doing here? <sighs> to see you, of course. Oh. Are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping on duty? What if your madam walks in here? Uh -huh. You go. How are you able to get away from your boss? Well, I came to see you first of all. And <laughs> there's something going on. I don't know. It's like my boss is tactically you know, shifting me to a different direction these days. I feel like he's beginning to understand that I am more capable of handling more responsibilities than just following him around. <laughs> That's really good, though, <laughs> because you are actually capable. You deserve to be more than just uh, an executive assistant. You're hardworking, you're smart, intelligent, everything. You want me, Abby? <laughs> I'm serious, <laughs> I'm serious. In you. My humble time, you don't need to thank me if this true. I'm not lying. Do you know that I'm even going for one of our official meetings? All oh, those executive files, those screen files. Yes, mm -hmm. one of our clients are supposed to go and meet. Wow. <laughs> I'm supposed to go and meet one of them now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you should have passed your side. Let me just enter and see how you're doing. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> really nice. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, your, your dinner, now is it, with your new friend? It was great. Mm. So, you, you guys are like, um, like a thing now. I have to take this. This is my boss oh, oh, right. calling. I have a place to do too. Later. Okay. 
later. Good day, ma. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up bro? What's going on? Look, I'm about to sign a deal that will pay for two of those houses. Do you remember the picture I sent to you? Yeah, the one I sent to you, yes. I want that exact same style. I'm not joking, no. I'm serious. Money is not the problem, I have the money. No, 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 no. I want that exact same style, that pattern I sent to you. Yeah. You need to hurry, man. You need to hurry. Let me, let me, let me pay for this thing and move on with other schedules I have. Okay? Ah, money is not broke. Now. You're the one to name me. So you need to hurry up, bro. Alright, just when you confirm everything, just let me know. Alright? Okay, man. Talk to you later. All right. Jerry. You need this. Okay, sir. This too. Okay. Um, I'll need you to come in very early tomorrow to help me pack up a few more things. Uh, my sister will pick them up. Pick, pick up. Yes, I'll be gone for a while. So, really, why are you rattled? You see why I want you to work with Dixon? And why you need to take on some clients on your own? Okay, sir. Jerry. Sir. You need to take every meeting serious. I will, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dixon is here. Let's go find a life. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Uh... Dixon. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Oh. How's it going? Uh, everything is fine, sir. Okay. Dixon. Sir. I called you here to let you know I'll be traveling for a while. Uh, no, that, that's not a problem, sir. I. We'll take care of your business for as long as you are away. I really hope so. Uh, for sure, sir. Well, I want to officially inform you that Jerry here is officially my ex-assistant. You know, when he sent him his resume, I found out that he had a BA in marketing. He had a couple of um, certification in branding and project management. He also had a master's in business strategy, right? 
He was eager for the job and I employed him. I've been watching him and he has done a great thing. He's been doing very well for himself. So I gave him a chance. He's really an impressive guy. Well, uh, if you say so, sir, I mean, I, I trust your judgment. Uh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Dixon, yes, I sir. said all of that to let you know that Jerry here is now the new business development director. Sir? Yes, Jerry. Excuse me, sir. That is my position. Yes, I know. I want you on some international projects. Um, okay, no, no, no problem, sir. I mean, I guess it's a bigger responsibility for yeah. me. And um, I am sure I'll be traveling with you, right? Yes, yes. Okay. But not now. I want you to officially hand over everything you're working on to Jerry. Um, Jerry. Yes, sir? Tomorrow will be your last day as my assistant. <laughs> so, please, I need you to call me very early. I will be here on time, sir. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, boss. Right, that'll be all for now. Thank you. Oh, all right, sir. Good night, sir. Once upon a time in a humble town. They once once a daily dream of boy. He had a best friend, someone who took care. They would always be through thick and thin. With empty pocket, they would share your dreams. Are you crying? What happened? I'm sorry I had to come this late. What happened? I... I'm no longer executive assistant. What? It sucks you? No. He promoted me to business development director. No, I'm not I'm serious. serious. I'm 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 serious. i i i i that's like that. Yes. You know what? Please listen to the biggest. Yes. 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 You see, Jerry, when I started this company, a lot of people talked down on me. But you see, today, the man I called mentor, he took a chance on me. He gave me a project worth millions of naira, wow. knowing fully whether I could fail. Wow. He risked it all for me. He pushed me through. He saw what I didn't see in me. And I see those attributes in you. Thank you, sir. I want to do the same thing for you. Ah, Jerry, Sir. you will run my company. Sir? You will run my company here. Okay, sir. Jerry, sir. you've been with me for over two years. You've seen me put documents together. Yes, sir. You've seen me pitch ideas to people and you've seen me deliver. Yes, sir. Trust me when I say you can do it. Thank you, sir. But so, what about Dixon? Don't worry about Dixon. He ignorantly takes a lot of things for granted. And that's why he's undeserving of a lot of things. I'll handle Dixon. Okay, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. I'll make sure I put you up to speed on how to handle the business day to day so you can handle it fully. Right. Uh, that reminds me. Um, the car outside 
and the house, I'll leave it for you. I, I had wanted my sister to take to take up here, but I'll rather leave it for you. Uh, we're going to sign a five-year deal. If you need to leave before the end of that five year, you let me know. So someone else can take over from there. Right away. Sam, what did I do? What, what did I do? What? Jerry, Sir? Jerry, please sit. Sit, sit. Jerry, stand up. Please sit. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, sir. Stand up, please. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Meanwhile, you said me what? Thank you, sir. You serve me diligently. Thank you. You serve me humbly. Thank you, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. That reminds me. Yes, sir. The $200,000 you found in the room, I knew about it. I kept it there. I wanted to know if I can trust you. Also, yes. you haven't told me what Dixon is doing with my businesses. Taking some of them for himself. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. I, I was just waiting for the right time, but I have found a way to stop him from taking your money, sir. I am aware. I have been watching him, and I'll also be watching you too. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, congratulations. Thank you, sir. It's okay, it's okay, sir. Jerry, see. Yes, dream do yes, come true. You, you deserve this. It doesn't Thank matter you, how long I it will take. I, I will never disappoint you, sir. Oh, yes. dreams do Thank come you. true. Thank you. It's only take a while. Only take a while. Hey. Dreams do come mm -mm. true. This is, this is a dream. This is a dream. In the middle of right. an ordinary life, right. fairy tales come true. Tales come true from grass to grace, yo. The twinkle of an eye from grass to grace, yo. Dreams do come true. This one, I'm 25,000. You go enter you. No say na stretchy material. You go enter you. Fairy tales come true. Now the last price, please. Don't worry, next time. Come. Talk to my madam. Right. What's going on? Pack up, pack up. I need to show you something. Pack up, pack up. My madam is around. How can I pack up? Hey, just go inside. Tell her that you're going to check something and you'll be back. You want me to lose my job? What's ah, stop issue? it. Oh. Stop it. Tell me. What do you want to tell me? Tell me. Yeah. I can't I can't tell you. I have to show you. Tell me now. I can't tell you now. It's something I must show you. You have to wait though. I don't close until an hour. Mm, okay. Can't wait. wait. What's doing this? One? What's happening? Tell me, John. Tell me. I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I have to tell show you. Now. I can't. I can't. Let me wait for you. Just go. Just go. And then I'll wait for you. So you're not going to tell me. You're not keeping secret. I can't. I can't. It's not something I can just tell you. It's something I must show you. you show me. Yes. Till you close, I'll be standing. Wait. <laughs> So, what do you want to show me? The house? Ah, but I've been here before now. It's beautiful, I know. And it's mine now. <laughs> what are you talking about? And you see that car outside? Uh -huh. It's also mine. <laughs> what are you saying? And my boss, he is leasing the house to me. Wow. So this is how you want to kill yourself. Where are you going to get money to pay for all this? For free for the next five years. <laughs> You're joking. Wait, <laughs> stop now. Stop I'm pulling my legs like this. Stop. I don't like it. Why are you pulling my legs? And so I will be running his company most of it here. Wait, you are serious? I'm serious. Shut up. I am serious. Shut <laughs> up. Are you for real? I'm serious. Congratulations. Thank you.
Thank you. You're not pulling my legs. No, come on. I, I just wanted you to see it first. I want all of you, all of you to join everything that is happening to my life and enjoy it. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. Thank you. This is all yours. Ours. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I know your boss is rich. But this rich, I am shocked myself. Do you know he's richer than I ever imagined? He has other houses in this town bigger than this. Hey! I'm serious. I don't, I don't know what I did. Are you for real? I don't know what I did. He just decided to go all out and support my life. Give me this place. Hey! God, where was I when you were sharing bread? <laughs> where was I when you were sharing bread to make money like this? <laughs> hey, God. So I can be rich that you have this kind of house mm -hmm. in so many other places. Yes. There is um, someone else I want to share this good news with. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Who's the person? Hmm. Let's go and fetch her. Oh. Let's go. I don't want to go. I don't feel like going. Let's go. We still go. <laughs> so you want to end us? No, Caleb. I want to partner with a sense of responsibility. I don't mind starting small, but I will not take a life of no vision or drive. Naomi, that's how you choose to describe me? That is how I can explain this, this relationship. Well, you've always wanted a magical life. And what is wrong with that? I want a better life, yes, but I'm ready and willing to work for it. I need to be in the midst of people who also want to reach for the stars. Don't forget you ended this. Have a good life. It's okay. It's okay. What if I tell you that I have something really good to change?
just like that, your life has changed for good. Our life. Just the play. Your life. <laughs> Our life. <laughs> has changed. You're just being modest. No, I'm serious. So. So? Your um, boyfriend. Did you say yes to him? He, he got me a lot of really nice gifts and I accepted the gifts. But I said no. How about Chelsea? I I enjoy chatting with Chelsea and that's because of official work. There's a whole lot of things I'm learning from her. She's kind of well experienced, but that's it. It's always been about you. Me? Yes. You know that I really care about you of course we're friends we've always been friends I want to be more than your friend see my boss when he gifted me this house and a whole lot of other things I was so excited I was in shock I couldn't think of anything but a second after I was done with the shop, the only thing in my mind was you. I, I was imagining how you would be in this house, how you would cherish it. I really want to say thank you. Thank you for being one of the persons who genuinely believe me you encourage me you defend me even when i can't speak up for myself and i wouldn't have any other person share this success with me now i have been thinking waiting planning i have done it a million times in my head how i will ask you out but the thing is, I didn't want to do that while we were struggling. I don't want to bring you into a life of struggle. Are you asking me out? Yes. I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to... I mean, you say the nicest thing, the most inspiring thing without any stress to me. I want you to help me build on this success and to take every step with you. I want you in everything. I want you in all of this. So you're asking me to be your girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, this is kind of awkward, right? I know. <laughs> Me, your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those people that used to accuse us? They would say, hey, we are seen it. <laughs> so... So many great friendships have missed moments like this. Opportunities to form the greatest relationships because of this awkward thing going on. And I don't want to miss it. Do you really want to know why I said no to Dominic? Yes. 
so we were right there in this fancy restaurant. Beautiful roses, scented candles, exclusive location, and he was just professing love, his undying love for me. But for some reason, I was just thinking about you and wishing he was you. I was wishing it was you asking me out. And I'm asking you out now. Be my girlfriend. said, what is going on? Uh, what's this? Yeah? Mr. Dixon, what do you want? What do I want? Yes. Jerry, what do I want? Let's talk to me. I can be of help. Do you want? Oh, you're, 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 you're spreading. You're spreading for me. You're spreading. You're... Okay. Jerry. What is that stupid email that you sent to me? And, and why are all my clients retracting from me? Oh, because we are taking care of them differently. Are you okay? <laughs> you see, Mr. Dixon, I discovered that you're using the company to bond your personal businesses. I saw you walk out of a client office when you were supposed to be in your home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it your business? Yes, it is my business because I run the company now. I'm sure you must have called Mr. Aaron and he asked you to come and see me. <laughs> you! You, Jerry, you! I have given my sweat, my blood, my tears to this company. Wait a minute, sweet. What are you doing in Aaron's house by this time? Why are you not in that your stupid floor? Because I own this house now. And what, are, what are these women doing in this house? What are, what are you people doing here? What are they doing here? <laughs> these are my family. Thank you. This house, yes. Even did not even give me the opportunity to stay in this house. Even the beauty, he barely allowed me to even enter there. And you own this house, he gave it to you. No, Mr. Aaron knows everything that you have done, and he is coming for you. Obviously, because of your stinking attitude, he doesn't want to have anything to do with you. Neither do I. Now get out of my house. Get out! 
Get out of my house. Or do you want me to call the estate security to come and throw you out? Out! I say, get out, you. You, you are, you are cat walking. Get out! Get out! Get out. Rubbish. Forget everything I said before I slept in this house. Mm. My brain was not functioning well. Wow. Right now, you are a rich mm. and a very attractive man. Hey! Mm. Oh, boss! Ah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Like, the factory was setting. Mm. Yeah. Because it was business soon. This is our fine house. I'm going to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me again how we became friends. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> True. You know, it's incredible how our lives have changed since the past 48 hours. I know. <laughs> There's a saying that goes that sometime in the middle of an ordinary life, magic happens. <laughs> and I'm so glad to be part of this magic. I would say, blessed. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> in the middle of an ordinary life, Fairy tales come true In the middle of a night and night light Fairy tales come true From grass to crazy oh The twinkle of a night From grass to crazy oh Dreams do come true He walked day and night Dream inside to build a future where the love can grow. Love can grow. True heart sheep and just his spirit remain. For he knew that happiness else would come. Yes, dream to come true. It doesn't matter how long it will take. Take a while, only take a while. Dreams do come true in the middle of an ordinary life. Fairy tales come true in the middle of an ordinary life. Fairy tales come true. From grass to crazy, oh, the twinkle of the night. From grass to crazy, oh, dreams do come.